This video is to help you see what the difference is between having lockers and not having lockers. If you're considering buying them, they're very expensive and you probably want to see. Two comparable trucks, one with open diffs, the other one with ARV air lockers, both front and back. Otherwise, pretty comparable. Uh, the first is a 2000 Forerunner with open differentials. This is occurring at uh, Roush Creek, which is in Pennsylvania. It's one of the better East Coast off-road parks. Um, it was a great day. This is the Capital Off-Road Enthusiast from the D.C. area coming up to spend a day and enjoy themselves. You can see he's struggling. This is, he's got the open diffs. This is not a particularly easy part of the trail. It's not the hardest to hit that day either. But you can see he's just having trouble kind of getting his, his, his grip. Um, he comes up, he approaches. Um, the open diffs are sending power to, the, to often the tire that is up in the air. So he's not getting any movement. Once he's up in the air, you can see right about here where his, now he's backing up and trying to kind of pick a better line so he, uh, that tire doesn't go up in the air. But he's really struggling here. This is not a particularly lot of fun that he's having at this point. He's getting some help. He's getting a little help get, picking the line, making sure. But as you can see here, it's, it's up, it's back. Um, it's the uncomfortable feeling of he's holding up four or five trucks behind him who he knows, you know, they want to go. Um, and it's just a lot of spinning. The other thing to take, keep in mind here, both the this Forerunner and then the Xterra that you'll see, uh, this is 2000 Forerunner, the next you'll see is the 2001 Xterra, but they're both, um, they, have, they have solid rear axles, but their front axles are independent front suspension, which means this sort of, of banging them and hitting them, you're, they're, they're not as strong as a solid if they had a strong, solid front axle. And so that pressure you put on both the, the axle, the hubs, that whole sort of front suspension, uh, trying to get enough momentum to kind of power your way up here. Um, you know, you spin in the air, then all of a sudden hits the ground, and that, that torque, that pressure uh, can really do some damage. Um, so one of the things that is pointed out, if you look at the Ronnie Dahl uh, videos on open versus uh, lock differentials, he talks about how this is protecting any of you guys who do have independent front suspension from just, you, you know, repairing an axle on the trail is just a major job and a, and a major pain. So you can see he's had to back down. He's trying to move his way around, trying to find a better line that won't move, you know, won't have tower, tires lift up off the ground. But he's running into trouble here, and eventually he had to be towed up. He only got that far. Now, this next one is a 2000 Xterra. Again, a comparable truck, tires, torque, engine power. But this is ARB uh, air lockers, both front and back. Just put it in, you know, you're in four low, and you put it in first gear, and you let the tires, you know, you try and pick the best line you can, and you can see how he just sort of, of allows it, to, uh, still trying to pick the best line, but he's not having any of the difficulties that the that his buddy had with the with the forerunner. He's just moving up this trail. Um, not anywhere near as exciting a video. Um, it's kind of dull. He's just going, but uh, it's not in any way no difficulty. Just clears it easily. Hope this helps.